Hey Leo, it's Goddess Puff, and this is your next 48 hours for April 17th to the 18th of 2022. All right, let's get started with an Oracle card message for Leo. What's going on with my Leos in the next 48 hours? What does Leo need to know for April 17th to the 18th of 2022, Spirit? Thank you, Spirit. All right, let's see. I don't know why I want to say clothes. Or cloves, like C-L-O-V-E-S, cloves. All right, we have Dark Moon 13, which is a four. In the dark of your heart lives new breath, waiting for you to release its ghost. All right, Neil Rawls Altar 2. A sacred devotion, a worship skin deep rising from the ashes. The waters you keep. Okay, so a dark moon and yes, a sage and altar. I feel like you're doing like a, a cleanse. So you could be like drinking a lot of smoothies, whether it be veggie or fruit. You're doing a specific type of cleanse for some specific uh, part of your body. Or I feel like you're doing it for your mental, for mental clarity. So you're doing a, a cleanse for mental clarity. It's like you're trying to empty your body of all the processed foods and things or just trying to empty your body in general to for mental clarity. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to um, uncover something or reveal something to yourself, a truth. Yeah, you're trying to clear your mind and body to reveal a truth to you. Because I feel like you're in the dark about something or something's being hidden. I feel like you're trying to do some type of spell or ritual to gain answers and clarity and you're going to make that happen. Um, let's get to the tarot for Leo, April 17th to the 18th of 2022 for Leo. 17th to the 18th of 2022 for Leo. Last shuffle, next 48 hours for Leo. I'm getting like a councilman, like a judge. You're trying to come to a final agreement or decision on something or someone. We have the five of wands. Yeah, there's conflict, competition, an argument that you had with someone recently. Two of wands. I'm trying to decide which way to go about this or which side to take. Four of cups. You're not interested. <laughs> All right. Overall energy is the six of wands. Yeah, you're getting a lot of attention. You will get victory and success, public praise and acknowledgement in this situation. So if someone thinks that you are their competition, you are not. You've already won. I am, uh, You may want to check out the Virgo reading because it's giving me similar energy to the Virgo reading. And you also showed up in that reading. Um, But yeah, you're trying to decide how to handle... Someone is literally coming to you and offering to compete with you. Like this person wants you to compete with them. They're asking you to compete with them. They're inviting you to do so. They're like, basically, they're coming up to you like, Leo, compete with me. They come to you and they're like, you're my rival. We are competing. That's the energy they're giving. And it's like they're trying to force this fight and this competition. And you're just looking at them straight faced like, please, you're getting clout from me. Not the other way around. You came up to me to compete with me because you knew you would get clout from it because you know who I am, okay? I feel like you're someone who already gets a lot of attention effortlessly or you've just built your name up in whatever field that this is. And this person thinks that like beefing with you would get them more attention or get their name spread more if it's beside yours. Because everyone will want, because everybody already knows who you are. So everyone's going to want to know who this person is because they're beefing with you. And you're deciding whether or not you should fight with this person or you should be disinterested. I believe you should be disinterested in this person. Because between the two of wands, which is trying to figure out which way to go, you have the five of wands and the four of cups. I would take the high road and ignore this person. I don't care what they're saying. Ignore them. Because they're trying to get cloud off of you. In the end, the other energy is the six of wands. Victory, success, praise, public acknowledgement. That's what this person wants, but it's already being given to you. So if you ignore this person, all the attention will go to you. But if you give attention to this, it'll go to both of you. <laughs> so you really don't want to give this person any free publicity. All right, clarify this for Leo. Clarify this message for Leo, please, spirit. Alaska. Oh, clarify this for Leo. 
father's message for Leo. Thank you. I just get this person just wants attention. They want free publicity. Clarifying the five of wands, the eight of wands. Yeah, this person's going to be trying to stalk you and blow you up. Like keep blowing up your phone, your email, or your social media. Keep sending you hate tweets or something like that. They're going to do this publicly too. And just because they know people are like waiting to see what you say back. And if you don't respond, this person just looks like a fool. They'll get their like five minutes of fame, but it won't go anywhere. Because I literally see someone keep like... They're either on some type of social media platform. For some of you, it's publicly. But for most of you, I feel like it's on a social media platform. This person just wants their name associated with yours. So they keep attacking you. They're going to keep tweeting and saying like, I can't believe you did this. I can't believe you said that. Or they're just going to try to be shady and like say things to trigger you or bait you in. Do not respond, please, Leo. Again, this person just wants clout off of you. Now, for some of you, it's multiple people. It's a group of people who are doing this. It's the same thing. They just want clout. Tower, clarifying the five of wands. Yeah, out of nowhere, it's an explosion of messages. Now, I do feel like for some of you, it is multiple people doing this. It's a group of people. It's gang stalking. Pretty sure if you've been listening to Tarot for a while, you heard the term gang stalking before. If not, look it up. It's pretty much what it sounds like. A group of people, like, just stalking you, um sending you a lot of messages, a lot of hate, just to mess with you or like to make you um, silence you pretty much. And also just to troll and get clout off of you. Ignore it. Clarifying the two of wands is the king of pentacles. It could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I strongly feel like this is you though. I feel like this king of pentacles is you. I feel like you have a lot of wealth, a lot of standing. You work very hard for what you got. For all this attention that you get, you've worked hard for it. I don't care if it's on Instagram. I don't care if it's in an office. You've worked hard to get where you are. Because a lot of people look down on people who work on um, online. They think they have it easy. But you don't just get online and start off with the amount of followers or subscribers. You got to grind every day like everybody else. <laughs> all right. So I feel like this person, these people feel they're basically just jealous. They feel like you got it easy because you just get attention, but they don't realize you had to work for it. And instead of them putting all this energy into themselves and their platform, they put it all into you. Yep, the world card clarifying the two of wands. You're no longer going to be confused about this. Like you're permanently just closing that cycle. This is also Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, and Taurus. Maybe in the past you would fight back or in your youth you would fight back with these people and argue with these people and give people what they want. And that's why they're doing this to you. But you've outgrown that. They can feel that you've moved on or you're moving up in status or in maturity and you're just done. You're no longer confused. You're just not interested. Yeah, out of nowhere, it's going to be a bunch of people saying stuff about you, trying to compete with you or cause conflict with you. And it's going to shock you because some of these people are in the industry or in the um the industry that you work in. People that some of these people are people you would see as allies, regardless of who it is, do not feed into it. Because it's going to die down and they're going to apologize and they're going to feel sorry. Clarifying the Four of Cups is the star card. Yes. So you chose the high road with the Four of Cups. Now, sometimes in readings, the Four of Cups is like missed opportunities coming back around. And if you do fight with these people, you will miss opportunities to take your career to the next level. All right. You have opportunities in front of you being handed to you. Great opportunities, once in a lifetime opportunities in front of you. And that's why these people are trying to distract you and fight you for this. They know that if they like distract you and argue with you and fight and compete with you, that you'll miss these opportunities because you'll be too distracted fighting with them. And also they're going to tarnish your reputation or trying to make you look messy online. They want to ruin your reputation for these companies. But because you took the high road and ignored them, turned your back to them, didn't feed into it, you get these opportunities and you're taking your career to next levels, higher levels, and they're just sitting there in the same spot where you left them. Clarifying the Four of Cups is a star. A literal star energy, center of attention energy. Also Aquarius and hope and healing here. So I do see that there's, I'm literally seeing like a stairs. 
your haters are down here, you're right here, and then there's the star, all right? And so you're sitting where the two of um, wands is. So you could either go down to your haters level because they're trying to pull you down because they see the star handing you something. They want you to come up there with them. But your haters are trying to fight with you. That's why they're sending multiple attacks, multiple people towards you to pull you down and feed into them. And if you fall for that, the, sun, the star is going to turn away and they ain't going to come back. All right. But I see that you're done um, being stuck or being caught in between which way to go. You're not feeding into those people anymore. So they're going to have a tower moment because they realize that they got left behind or like you're not feeding into them. Because like with the tower in the world, you're not, you're done. You're done going back and forth, bickering with people. You're not doing that no more. You're, you're realizing that it's all designed to slow you down or stunt your growth. Clarifying the four of cups is the ten of wands. Yes. Heavy burden being put to rest, you're done. So again, for some of you, I feel like in the past, you did miss out on this opportunity or opportunities like these because these people, you allow these people to take you down with them, to be unprofessional with them and argue with them. But this time around, you're like, no, you see what they're doing and you're not falling for it. Overall energy is a ten of swords. The worst part of a situation is over. A ten of wands, heavy burden be put to rest, it's done. So I love seeing the star card here. Because I feel like you've gone through a lot emotionally. You fought a lot to get here. And so I do see you healing. I see you finally being able to exhale, to breathe, to rest. And I do see a once in a lifetime opportunity being handed to you with the four cups and the star. And I see you taking it. So you're getting the chance to be in the public eye and being cheered on and praised somewhere. So I get that you get invited to an event with very important people. So congratulations to you, Leo. I'm happy for you. All right, I'm going to leave it there. If this reading resonated, don't forget to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or share if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me. All of my information is in the description box below. If you would like to check out my sister's beautiful crystal jewelry, which I'm always wearing and displaying here, her Etsy is in the description box below as well. I send you peace, blessings, and love, Leo. Namaste.